Guys, welcome to the Vancouver B-Movie Factory. This is a place where movie making dreams really do come true. I can't believe we started this a year ago and it's just growing and growing and growing. This episode is a really exciting one because it's about improv. And these guys on the panel, they don't like improv. They like structure. So it's going to be really, really good. Let's go check it out. Hey guys. Hey. How's welcome, you? welcome. All right. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Sure. Uh, my name's Al Sonio. I'll be the uh, editor for this project. I'd say my favorite movie is With Nail and I, directed by Bruce Robinson. I'm Oliver Dawson, and I'll be the talent coordinator for this project. And my favorite movie is The Great Escape. I'm Chris Maruna, and I'll be the uh, director of photography in this uh, production and my favorite film is Of Mice and Men, the 1939 version. Hello, my name is Graham Myers. I'm the artistic director at Second Story Theater. Uh, I believe I'm the inspiration for this project. And my favorite movie is Big Trouble in Little China. And as you guys already know, I'm Jimmy Stewart and welcome to the Vancouver B Movie Factory. Oh. All right, well, we start off this uh, just letting the inspiration tell us who he is and what he would like to do for the Vancouver B-Movie Factory. So, Graham? Uh, cool. Uh, I'm an improviser. I'm an artistic director. I own a little improv theater in Port Coquillam. And, uh, you know, I've been improvising for pretty much most of my life. Um, I took my very first improv workshop when I was 13. I was that awkward kid who never really uh, was, you know, fit in with sports, didn't really uh, fit in with anything else. So uh, when I found improv and I found uh, making audiences laugh, you know, kind of gave me an outlet for all of my frustration and anger that, you know, you go through when you're a teenager. And, and what I thought might be a neat thing to do is maybe take somebody who um, hasn't ever done improv before and see what it would be like to have them like work on some of the skills that we practice uh, and see what it would take for somebody with no improv background to get up on stage and actually perform. Um, you know, anybody with, with a desire to learn can do something, right? And so I feel like we could take people that have never even, like, given it a shot at all, maybe have never seen a show, um, but have a willingness and a courage to get up there and try it. I feel like those people could then have the end result be that they do some sort of a show or something like that. I thought that'd be kind of a cool way to do it. And no matter what, they're going to find success because them getting up in front of people, you know, that's huge. And they're going to be nervous, they're going to be shaky, they're going to be sweaty. Uh, and that's part of the fun in it, right? But when they get that first laugh and they feel that first adrenaline rush from the audience and, you know, yeah. loving what they're doing, it's going to create an awesome feeling for them that, you know, they'll probably remember for the rest of their lives. So, and of course, because I'm an improviser, I'm open to whatever. So um, any ideas that you guys have had, if you've given it much thought, you know, of course I'm open to whatever. And as an editor, you know, maybe you wanted to uh, have the idea of throwing a green screen on the, on the stage and have, have anything you want in the background. There are games that would lend themselves to that. Oliver, what do you think of actors? What do you think of this uh, improv? Do you have any ideas or any thoughts? Well, yeah, no, I was just, so right now I'm just thinking like, I'm just trying to get a handle of, I'm listening to what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. listening to what you're saying. But I'm, no, my worst, my worst fear, I guess, would be uh, it, have it, having no sort of Nothing, structure. nothing, no structure, no, not, no script, nothing in my mind. You know, I know, like, we'll, we'll rehearse it a little bit, but it's improv, you know. It's so different from, it is, it is different from when you go out in the theater and, you know, you've, you've rehearsed for six weeks on, you know, you have the script, you've gone over it with the director and everybody like that, and they help you out, you know, you do one-on-one. -on -one. This is sort of just like, right, you're in a park, <laughs> you're eating beans, go. 
I don't know. I'm gonna take care of you guys. Like that's the whole thing. It's like yeah. never, ever, ever. And I'm gonna, am I gonna set you up to fail? The whole the whole thing is is just about letting you find your success within whatever it is that we're doing. And mm-hmm. I'm gonna do my best to nurture that and make everybody feel safe within that group. And that's the most important thing about building that group dynamic right away is you all feeling comfortable to be able to expose yourself and, and willing to try. Yeah. And so that's the main key is getting you guys all feeling that comfort with each other and realizing you're all in there together, you're all doing it the same, and you're all going to have to expose yourself a little bit in order to get to that next level. So um, I'm going to be like a big teddy bear, like holding you all in my fur, and then, and then you'll be in there, and then when I'm ready, I'll, I'll open up my arms and you'll come out of my fur and perform. <laughs> I like analogies, what can I say? I'm a big Brilliant. bear and you'll be in my fur. So it could be really, it could be really fun. It would be a really good time. Or it'll be awful. Or it'll be really Really, terrible. terrible. And we will just erase. Forget everything you're seeing right now. No, I'm going to show everything. Yeah, show it all. Well, that's the great thing about it is it show it all. That's so great. It could be Titanic too. Yeah, it could be. And I'm I'm on board. I'm not getting off that ship. So I'm going down with it. I'm going down. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I'm super stoked. Like this is what I do, and this is what I love. And uh, you know, getting ten fresh people that uh, may not have any experience at all—that for me is like amazing. Because I get to I get to give these ten people a little bit of what it is that we do. And then and and some. I'll be honest with you. This isn't for everybody. A lot of people go. It's weird. I don't get it. We, we Make, want that, I like though. to think about things. Yeah. And then they yeah, run away. We want that. Yeah. Well, that's what I want too. Uh, I uh, want to see that too. I want to yeah. see a guy who succeeds. Totally. Is really good at it. A guy who just. A lot of people, you know, acting, people like to be actors, but uh, as soon as you put the lights on them, a lot of them just freeze right up. They're yeah. great in real life, yeah. but as soon as the lights come on... how difficult it can be. They, well, yeah, well, they yeah. just freeze up. People well, just well, freeze just up. It. That lens is a perfect freezing machine. Yeah, for many yeah. people. Yeah. For oh, man, those, those stage yeah. lights, those stage lights yeah. will do it too, big time. And uh, you mean that what, one? what happens is with improv, Ooh. that breaks that, that, that lens. Yeah. Mm. It's perfect. So that's well, why yeah, the more the, the <laughs> yeah, more I can get choice. people to do this, yeah, the better busy. off they're going to be as actors in the future. Well, it's a great thing for actors. So. It's useful all over the place, not just in acting too, of course, in any industry that you work in, having that confidence, making statements, saying yes, like being able to feel comfortable with all of that stuff, mm. use that anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You're anywhere. absolutely correct. Yeah. Totally. Any job, any job when Anything. you can think on your feet and that's Anything. the kind of people this that's the kind of people you want to work for you. Exactly. And for the editors, I'm going to, instead of having a week to edit, I'm going to have them four hours to edit. So, whoa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, my feelings on this have changed. Talk about oh, oh. Talk about pressure. <laughs> click, click, click. No, I'm just kidding. Yo, you still have the week Wait, to I'd edit. I'd do what I could, but that's four hours. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, guys, we'll take this back to the group and uh, we'll see what they have to say. So, stay tuned.